two, one. Welcome to the kitchen part of La Biondo Farm and Kitchen. Today I'm gonna to show you how I blow out goose eggs. This is one of my goose eggs and this is one of my chicken eggs. And you can see there's a big difference. This is six ounces, this is 2.3 ounces, average for both. But we're not gonna talk about chicken eggs today. We're gonna to do goose eggs and you can do anything you want with them after you blow them out. You can paper them. These are eggs that I put paper on and encaustic, and they could be, I called them my Equinox eggs. The egg is the symbol of fertility and life. So you can do whatever you want with them after you blow them out. Actually, I see people have just bowls of blown out eggs. So inspired by my dear friend, Jennifer, she took a bunch of these eggs a couple years ago and she blew them out. <laughs> and it was a lot of hard work because a goose egg is highly viscous. So it's really thick and it's really hard to blow out. So I pondered that for a whole year thinking how I was gonna get it out. So then I came up with this. First, you drill holes in the bottom and the top. Ha! Like there is a bottom and a top. So my tools are my Dremel and my drill. You could actually do this with just a drill. The secret weapon is this, get in real close there, is this particular bit, which is from my Dremel, and it does fit on your drill, but this allows me to not have to change bits. And see how pointy that is? and something about those lines in there. This does a great job on drilling the end of the egg without cracking the rest of the egg. So this bit is important and this drill is important and something to blow the guts into and away we go. All right, if you happen to have a Dremel, turn it on super, super fast. And if I were other people and I really cared about where the center of the egg is, I would do some measuring and some taping, but that's not me. I just kind of go, eh, that looks about right. And hold the egg and look at that. You just want to break the shell. Then you go to the other end and break the shell. Ta-da. Whoops. And then you take your drill and you're gonna scramble the egg inside. So I go through it like so. And scramble from one end. Take your bit out, put it in the other end. Scramble. Yeah, this is kind of messy. And then here's the magic. You see it's trying to come out now. Take a squeeze bottle and fill it with water. It does not matter, hot, cold, I use whatever comes out of the faucet. It's important to have a fairly skinny little tip there. And then you line the holes up and you squeeze instead of blowing. Look at that, look at that. Oh, see how viscous it is? Yeah, this is kind of a messy job, but Dude, you're squirting me. No, I was, <laughs> you did. Oh, I did. I you squirted did. you. Well, at least I didn't get egg yolk all over you. <laughs> Just kidding. So, there's that. And then, you go to the other end. And squeeze some more. And... God, it's so much easier than what I was doing. Well, it's certainly better on your lungs. Jesus. Look, looks like it's having a baby. Ah! Oh my God. Get it <laughs> off. <laughs> and, and then, yeah, you have to fill up the bottle. You could have a bigger bottle, I suppose, but you have to be able to get your hand around it so you can squeeze it really hard. So hot water wouldn't cook the egg and make it harder to squeeze out? Um. That's a good question. I doubt it. You would. I doubt you could get the hot water hot enough from your tap. Okay. So you squeeze until you get it all out, 
and then you drain it. So I do a little rinse once everything is out. And you shake it all about. And you shake it all about. Oh, look, there's some more egg yolk in there. Now, I suppose you could say this is a waste of a good goose egg because there's so much water in here, it's really hard to make a meal out of this egg, but you can. What I do is I scramble up the eggs, water and all, just cook them in a pot, and I feed some to the dog. I feed them back to the chickens. It is feeding your chickens cooked eggs is not gonna make them eat their eggs. So there we go. We have a blown out egg. And then I just let it dry. Let it drip dry like that. And there you go. You have blown out goose eggs that now you can do whatever you want. You can make beauty. That's what you can do with them. Thanks for watching. Thanks, Karen. See you next time. Thank you, Jennifer Hawk. You're welcome. Bye. Goodbye.